So let's talk about first party data again. Cause I got this question is, all right, I'm gonna utilize this CDP, but what's the marketing message? So there's a, a lot of different silos, a lot of different levers you can pull within you by utilizing your first party data to market more strategically and more precisely with a message that actually appeals to that buyer. So let's start with service. So with service, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a, a basic standard cadence that we utilize that we find most successful. And we're talking about recall work, um, people who've never serviced, things like that, people who have service or overdue. Those are pretty standard. I think those are pretty standard across the board. <clears throat> but beyond that, what kind of specials is your dealership running for service right now? Are they running a tire special? Why not target anybody over 40,000 miles? I mean, let's, let's, let's pick a silo here. 40 to uh, 80,000 miles, assumptively, on their vehicle with a new tire ad. <clears throat> and then back it up with a text campaign. And then maybe, maybe even back it up with a video campaign that shows them why they need to get new tires. Like shows a, a tire that's completely worn down what a tire you know, looks like at 40, 80,000 miles. When, in, and I'm sure dealerships have plenty of those sitting on the lot, right? So that would be something you could make a video and follow it up with. Hey, does your tire look like this? Might be time to think about new tires. Come see us, we're having this, buy three, get one for a dollar, whatever your tire special is. What about if you're a Highline store and your service intervals are 12 months <clears throat> or 15,000 miles, 10,000 to 15,000 miles? So you need to adjust your never service and your overdue service. Obviously, you need to customize that for the brand and the OEM that you're in because the standard cadence for overdue service, let's just pick that one, for overdue service is uh, you know 3,000 miles, and uh, uh, three months, four months, something like that, right? Overdue for or, um, overdue for service. So, if you're in a Highline store that you know your service intervals are, are much longer than that, you need to adjust accordingly. So instead of being, you know, four to six months, you're going to look at probably fourteen to eighteen months would be your overdue service. Now, let's talk about other Highlines that have included the maintenance package and the purchase of the vehicle. Service isn't exactly like standard BTOB, brakes, tires, batteries, oil changes. That's not something you're standard, you're in your standard cadence for that type of vehicle, but you can utilize it for higher mileage vehicles. So you can also look into your database for people who still own the car, who are over, let's say 50, 60,000 miles. What services are applicable to your particular brand at 50, 60,000 miles? Now, the people who are running your CDP aren't necessarily going to know that, so that can be something, information that you share with them. Save two minutes via State Route 1 along <clears throat> One Loop West. Sorry, my navigation is really helpful. <laughs> but you have to share that. Don't automatically assume that your vendor is going to know that. They might, they absolutely might but don't automatically assume that. You wanna give them as much information about your brand as possible so they can customize that campaign to your OEM and to your general, your geography and your market. <clears throat> when it comes to service, that's that's very custom, sometimes even down to the model, it's customizable, right? So then we're talking about sales. Let's go over to the other side of the house. <clears throat> and how do we use a CDP to market to sales? So. You have to think about that particular buyer for that particular model. For Nissan, for example, the Ultimate and the Rogue, those are pretty much interchangeable based on the price point. We found that you know people who buy Ultimas, people who buy Rogues, they buy the other car as often as they buy the car they're interested in. So if I were running a CDP for a Nissan store, I would be marketing not just Ultimate customers, but to Ultimate and Rogue customers and I would be marketing the 
customers who, I mean, if you're, if you're into leasing, leasing is fabulous way to keep a, a loyal customer, a loyal customer coming back again and again. But that's not the case with a lot of stores because they don't push leasing as heavy. And I, with regards to Nissan, the leases always haven't, hasn't, haven't always been fantastic. But let's talk about financing. So what intervals were you selling at last year, this year, last year, two years ago, five years ago? What were the finance intervals that you sold the most of? You can look up this data within your DMS, right? You can probably talk to your finance director if he's been there long enough and ask him. You probably know if you're a desk manager. So if you know for a fact that ever since about 2015, the intervals for our finance contracts are no longer 60 months, they're 72, they're 84 months, now you need to move back the trade-in date. So don't market to people who you who aren't halfway through their finance contract. Don't think it's three years anymore. It's four, four, four to five years now we've pushed people out for the trade-in cycle. So where we're at, you know, as far as a, a, an industry right now, we, we've kind of self-created that because we've pushed out the term, the finance term, we've also pushed back the trade-in cycle. So when you're talking about marketing to the CDP from a sales aspect, you have to take that into consideration. So our CDP actually allows you to filter by equity Speed check or lack ahead thereof. Speed State Route 101 Loop North. Thank you, very helpful navigation. <laughs> our CDP allows, actually allows you to filter out by equity or inequity, and you can create a custom campaign for that. So if you know, like most truck, most OEMs that have a truck for sale right now have a fantastic rebate in that. That is a perfect segue into pulling people in that have a large amount of inequity. So I actually did an ad for someone the other day that at $18,000 off their truck, I'm not gonna say which OEM, we all kind of know who it is anyway, $18,000 off. If I were that dealership, I would use my CDP to go into my database and market specifically to anybody who had over $10,000 in inequity in their current truck. That would be what I would do because that's how you're going to pull those people out. Hey, great news. We have $18,000 in manufacturer rebates, discounts, cash back. You have a good, hopefully, a good payment history with our OEM finance, uh, captive financing. So I wanna bring you back in, get rid of a lot of that equity for you by utilizing this rebate for that. That is a fantastic way to pull people out of inequity situations. So that's one aspect that you can utilize the CDP for is targeting targeting high inequity with the high rebates and, and um, uh, incentives and dealer cash and everything you have going on. Another way to actually utilize this is for upgrading a customer. So provided that your notes in your CRM are really fantastic from your salespeople, if you had a customer who, let's say, you know that the missus wanted more wanted a leather interior and the husband was like, no, we're getting cloth interior or they wanted an SUV, but their credit wouldn't allow them to buy the $50,000 one. So they got the $30,000 one. If you know, and hopefully your notes are good enough in a CRM, and this is going to take a, a little bit more work, but I promise you the payoff is better. You can market to someone who's had that car that maybe they really didn't want or their spouse really didn't want, but they had to take it because they needed a car and market that upgraded vehicle. Hey, good news. You're in a position where you can get into this vehicle provided you made all your payments. And, you know, when can you come in so we can look at your vehicle and get you into this new leather interior or, um, full size SUV as opposed to the compact SUV you have, or you know, something like that, that's another way to market it. We have to be really strategic when we're talking about marketing to this, the, the data that we have within the CDPs because it's still a customer. It's still a customer that wants to be sold. Regardless if you're starting cold, you still have to be precise, do a little homework and actually market to that hurt, to solve that hurt that they have. That's all I got for this week. Happy selling.